Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around the table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed. The man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. Lord Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God made male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Gospel by the The one presents as many other things. A lies. But today let us partake in this joy, thanking them because we are glad. And we draw strength from him who gives us strength that he has plans for us. This is your vocation. Ruth and David, God has called you for that life. And you should ask, you know, here I am, Lord, I come to do your work. This is what you want me to do. Respect my husband and each other, a wife and husband. I will, because that's all. You have called me for that. And continue, dear friends, in this rest of challenges of life, truth will remain, as I said, nobody can wipe the truth. And let us ask God to strengthen us. Let us not stack our heads in between our knees, but as he says, walk away and keep walking, carry, and follow me, not anybody else. Follow me, because I am the way, the truth, and the life. Follow me. Nothing else. If you follow me, you're walking on the right path. And you're right. Ruth and David, 
Work up your seeds to lead one another to heaven. God created one thing, and that's the heaven. And he wants all of us to be with him, not away from him. Not anywhere else. He says, I am the way. You follow only that way. And let us follow that light of the world, which people prefer darkness. But he says, no, I give you light. And walk. Let us follow those footsteps. And together, let us ask God's blessings upon them through the intercessory prayer. Love forever, O Lord. You place upon men and women the gentle demands of your love, so that they may find happiness in accepting them. We pray to the Lord, keep us in your love forever, O Lord. You will bring a man and woman together in mutual delight that the family thus formed may joyfully be crowned with children. We pray to the Lord, keep us in your love forever, O Lord. Through Christ's Paschal sacrifice by which he loved the church and presented her to you washed clean in his blood, you mystically foreshadowed the fullness of willed love in the sacrament of matrimony. We pray to the Lord, keep us in your love forever, O Lord. You call David and Ruth to a full communion of love, so that they may become one in mind and heart. As a member of Christ's Christian family, we pray to the Lord, Keep us in your love forever. We also pray for people who are single, who are seeking the occasion in their lives. We pray for all those who are separated from the illness and peace. We pray for all our families, especially separated families who are not talking to each other, brothers and sisters, and pray for the unity and peace in all our families that we know we created by God and remain in his image. We make this breath to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Celebration at which you join your lives in an unbroken bond through the sacrament of martyrdom. You now intend to renew before the Lord the promise you made to one another. Turn to the Lord in prayer that these walls may be strengthened by divine grace. If you are alone here, let me know. Okay. Blessed are you, O Lord. For your goodness, I took Ruth as my wife. Blessed are you, Lord. For by your goodness, I took David as my husband. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord. For in the good and the bad times of our, our life, you have said lovingly by our side. Help us in prayer to remain faithful in our love for one another so that we may be true witnesses to the covenant you have made with the human family. May the Lord keep you safe all the days of your life. May he be your comfort in adversity and your support in prosperity. May he fill your home with his blessings through Christ our Lord.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, he giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you. 